coin is tossed three times, what's the probability that we get three heads? Hopefully at this point, you can all tell me that this probability is going to be 1 out of 8. Now what if I have some more information? If I know that two of the tosses, at least, come up to heads, how does the probability change? We're going to use a normal quotient to compute this probability, but the thing to keep in mind is that the total number of possible outcomes is restricted. Since we have to have two heads, outcomes like tails, tails, tails is not permitted. The only possible outcomes are these four here, which means that the probability that we get HHH is 1 out of 4. This is called a conditional probability. When we have additional assumptions, we restrict the sample space so that the only outcomes we care about are the ones that satisfy our assumptions. In the previous example, there were two events at work. The first one was what we were looking for, and the second one was the assumption. To actually compute the probability, we restricted the sample space based on the second event, and we looked to see how many satisfied the first event. The conditional probability of an event given another is defined by this symbol here, and it's given by this formula. What this formula is saying is that only the events in F matter, so that's our sample space, and the outcomes of E that are in F are the only ones that we care about. Let's take a look at an example. We're going to add the results together, and we want to find out if we know that the force that a die is even, what's the probability the sum is 8? Our two events in this case are the one we're looking for, which is the sum is 8, and the one that we're assuming, which is the four sided die is even. We need the probability of f for the denominator, and that's just going to be 1 half, because half of the sides of the four sided die are even. The intersection is going to be all the rolls that have both an even four sided die and that add up to 8. If you look at all of the possible rolls, only 2, 6, and 4, 4 will add up to 8 with an even four sided die. So the probability of the intersection is these two over the 24 possible rolls. Putting these into the conditional probability formula, we end up with a probability of 1 over 12 divided by 1 over 2, which is 1 over 6. Let's take a look at another example. We have a machine that produces parts that are either good, slightly defective, or obviously defective. The probability that it produces each of these types of parts is given by this distribution table here. So there's a good chance that the part that comes out is good, and there's a small chance that it's defective. If we have a machine that discards all the obviously defective products, what's the probability that a randomly selected product is good? This will be a conditional probability because we're making the assumption that we threw away all of the obviously defective products. So we're going to let E be the good parts and F be the not obviously defective parts and we want to find the probability of E given F. So looking at this table, the probability that the part that we have is not obviously defective is 0.92. It's the good and slightly defective parts. The probability that it's good given that it's either good or slightly defective, is going to be 0.9, the same as the probability that it's just good. If we put those parts together, the conditional probability is 0.9 over 0.92, which is 